Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and oh boy do I have a little bit of tea for you guys. Celine slams Anthony and production in this quick candid interview. I'm going to let you guys check it out and then we're going to talk about it. So um, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash the like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So as we know, Celine from Married at First Sight, um, Australia, um, according to what we find out, and shout out to one of my subscribers, Terry Bradley, who sent me this information. Uh, she calls a local radio station to claim producers and Anthony pressured both of them to sleep together on her wedding night after she says no. So listen to her and um we're gonna talk about all of this afterwards so without further ado let's jump into this interview hey it, it was hard is it an accurate representation of what happened do you think Celine, or have you got a, a bit of a an unfair edit oh gosh i don't i don't even know where to start there um but in my view and you know mm -hmm. to be honest i was very vocal about this but it's yes. it was a very forceful relationship for me um you know, when I said no to particular things, like last night, I don't know if you, you can remember, but I did mention the clay wasn't the first time things got thrown in my face, hence why my reaction was that way. Yes. It was the third time. So, mm, like, yeah. a Does lot of things, when I said no, it was thrown in my face, and I just feel yeah. like yeah. I said no I'm to safe. these things. Like, yeah. 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 I, I, I get it. Mode. He yeah. thinks he's like back in the wrestling ring, doesn't he? And he's just doing it all for the cameras, and and it's just all. This is good TV, so exactly. I can I can throw yeah. this beautiful woman in a pool, Thank and, and she's going to be cool with it. Thank you. Look, um, I mean, you know, I did have the conversation with him. Is do you find this is okay? Like I'm saying, yeah. no. Like, is this yep. playful to you? And okay. he 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 thinks it's you know, oh, this is my way of showing certain things. And I said, well, it's not mine. Like Thank I was you. very vocal about that. So you so felt I mean, uncomfortable, did you? Yeah, yeah. uncomfortable. That's a good from word. you know what from the wedding day when he shared mm. the same bed with me when I said no. Yeah, he, I, he, he forcefully yeah, went into that bed, and I didn't want it's, it. It's terrible. You know but what? you know what? Yeah. I, the producers they, need no, to no. step up it's here. It's also the experts. I, I'm so sick of these experts. Do they watch the footage? Do they know what's going on? No, Do they bother checking what they're doing, mate? This? They're just trying, they're trying to pay off their mortgage. You know, so they, they, <laughs> they bought a house in Vaucluse, and they want to pay it off. So poor Celine yeah. has what, to cash and checks with Celine's misery. Yes. He's a misery check. Yeah. Okay, so there we have it. So um, this information also comes from Daily Mail UK, and they definitely had some things to say about it as well. Um, she has officially defied Channel 9 producers and confirmed her split from her husband, Anthony Chincata, uh, during this radio interview. Um, she broke down in tears after she called up this show called the Kyle and Jackie O Show following an earlier interview that she did with her on-screen partner. Now, she claimed that producers and Anthony pressured her into sleeping in the same bed as her groom on her wedding night, even after she said no. Now, she also said some people understand, some people see the gray areas, but it's just not fair that I'm dealing with all this backlash when I've said no to a few things and he persisted. She also goes on to say, and I quote, I've gone into protective mode and it's really hard. I'm actually going to lose it if I don't say these things, she says. And before she claimed that she asked producers and Anthony if they could sleep in separate beds, they reportedly objected. Now, this is according to her. Uh, she said that she didn't want to. I'm not the type of person and it's okay for people to be like that. But I didn't feel comfortable. And he, meaning Anthony, she said, persisted. And they, meaning the producers, she said, persisted. Um, Celine alleges that despite telling both producers and Anthony she wasn't comfortable with sharing a bed on the first night, she was pressured into it for filming. When asked what Anthony's response was to her rejecting their offer, Celine said he replied, we need to do it, and that it wasn't a big deal. Now, Celine went on to claim she reluctantly agreed to sleep next to Anthony after they built this pillow fort, but said that she would have preferred the couch option. 
In response to Selene's allegations, Nine, which is the show producer, spokesperson, told Daily Mail Australia that there is never any pressure to put on participants in regarding sleeping arrangements. Nine and In The Mall Shine, which are also production companies, takes their obligations in respect to the health and well-being of their participants of this program extremely seriously. All participants have access to the show psychologists during filming, during broadcast, and once the program has ended. Nine also have additional service for participants should they like or need further individual or confidential psychological support. This service gives participants access to clinicians who have been specifically engaged to support those involved in the program in relation to their experiences. This service is available to all participants for as long as they need it. It does not end. The executive assistant also claimed that there was number of incidents, and this is Selene because she's the executive uh, participant. Um, she continued to uh, allegedly claim that there was a number of other incidents that made her feel extremely uncomfortable around um, him, meaning Anthony. Uh, Selene alleged that Anthony dunked her head under water while filming a kayaking date, despite telling him she had an ear infection. Anthony, however, has since denied Selene's claim, with a close friend also coming to tell Daily Mail Australia he would have been happy to take the couch, but it was never discussed. If Celine was uncomfortable with what he would have slept... Oh, okay, let me make sure I get this in the right context. If Celine was uncomfortable with that, he would have slept on the couch. But it wasn't communicated to him, they said. Um, it comes just days after production insider told Daily Mail Australia things took a turn for the worse just minutes after the couple checked into their honey, uh, honeymoon suite. Anthony's gentlemanly behavior that was on display at the wedding did not continue on the honeymoon, according to her. The minute the camera stopped rolling, he completely turned off this, let me open the door, let me do this for you, and still, this is still the first day they claim. Celine apparently didn't struggle to connect with Anthony after she saw this shift. Celine's radio interview comes after the relationship gurus John Mel John Aiken Mel Schilling and Alessandra Rampola slammed her for demeaning Anthony during Sunday night's commitment ceremony, which we saw. Speaking about their failed romance, Anthony described their marriage as a train wreck. Of course, we heard that. He then went on to explain how things uh, started to go downhill with Celine after their honeymoon. He showed vulnerability. She made me feel disrespected. I know. And then, of course, we remember her saying, you know, the whole she shouldn't have used the princess thing. And then, of course, the production, uh, I mean, the experts, you know, cut her off. Um, this is the real world. He feels you making fun of her. So we remember we saw all of that um, in regards to, you know, uh, the commitment ceremony. Now, Daily Mail Australia did reach out to Channel 9, um, Celine and Anthony for comment in relation to the article as well, even more. But this is crazy. So basically, um, it seems that Celine is saying that what we're seeing with Anthony on camera is not who he really is. And that she was made by the production team to do things that she really did not want to do. Um... It's basically at this point, he say, she say, because she says one thing and then we have spokespeople from the production team saying, hey, we don't make people do anything. And if they feel like they're being psychologically, you know, violated or whatever, you know, you can talk to somebody. And the problem with this whole situation, we'll never know the truth because Anthony is denying things as well. Um, I would say at this point, listening at this and there might be some people that might believe her, but I guess because the way she's being seen on the show, a lot of people probably won't. They'll think that she's just trying to manipulate the public and trying to come up with all of these things. And that's the issue. If, in fact, you go on these reality TV shows, you have to be mindful that 
once you sign a contract, they get ownership and control on how they want to maneuver. Now, I'm not telling you guys that the show made her do these things. They spoke for themselves. I'm not speaking for them. So, you know, I'm not saying that that's the case. I do know of other shows and things like that that will put, you know, say, hey, you know, once you sign a contract, you know, there are times where you may not be portrayed in the light that you want to be portrayed in. So she had to be aware of that. But I guess she wanted to release some details out there because she's basically getting slammed in social media and probably especially down in the Australian social media. Um, I've also seen a lot from the U.S. area where people that watch the AU version are feeling the same way about Celine and a, a couple of the other cast members like Andrew. But the thing is, is that, you know, you your behavior that you portrayed, the looks that you had on your face, the dinner party, how you tried to get the women on your side, you did all of that. You did all of that. And the experts called it out. Now you feel that social media is coming after her. Now she's trying to defend herself. So I just want to try to keep you guys up to date with everything. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular subject. It's pretty darn interesting. I, she did a, another interview um, a few days ago, but I guess she decided to break, you know, break ranks and go rogue as this article described and decided to just pretty much throw Anthony and the production team under the bus per se, you know, with what uh, she's trying to do to, you know, uh, defend how she looks in, you know, the perception of the fans. So I know you guys got a lot to say. Sound off in the comment section and let me know what you think. When we do a live later this week, if you want to talk about it, feel free. We can talk about it. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.